All right, you beautiful peoples from around the interwebs. Bit of an unusual, I'm going to do a tech video today, Sunday. And uh, have you got one of these lying around? Maybe you've owned the old PlayStation 4. Maybe you've got the old, this is the old VR, not the new PSVR 2. Um, and you can brace with it. I think you can pick these up for next to nothing now from, you know, local secondhand stores like uh, like your cash marts then. Um, well, essentially, you can actually get this to work on your PC using a bit of software. And it's it's complicated if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to make a video just to explain to you uh, and follow my guide and you'll get it working lovely jubbly. And you can do this for free. You get a 10 minute demo of any play any game for 10 minutes and then it turns off or you pay for it. It's about 15 quid um, and it'll permanently work. OK. So first off, you need to go into your Steam. So, and I'll also I'll label this all down below so you can if you if you don't need to know how to set up your PSVR, you know all the cables, you're about to skip past that. But there's a couple of parts, and I'll put them, write them down. And I say don't skip because they're very important. And one is to do with the controller. I'll be using a, um, I'll be using 8-bit dough, but it's basically your Xbox controller that that simulates an Xbox controller. It'll be your for your Xbox controller. There'll be a certain set of things you'll have to click within your Steam to get that to work. And then there's also the the actual setup of the VR. There's a certain couple of things you need to need to change for it to work flawlessly and it, and when it's working it works beautifully fair play i mean it, yeah the psvr the first one it's a little bit blurry a little bit screen door effect but if you want to play those vr games a couple couple of those vr games in in steam then it's a cheap alternative if you've already got one lying about okay um and of course it it, it will be uh, limited to the amount of games that you can actually play because you haven't got those uh, controllers. Now, you can get the Move controllers to work, but it's such a faff. Just stick to using controller-based games. So I'll give you an example. Skyrim VR, fine, works with controller. Fallout VR, no. You've got to have like those Quest-type or Vive type controllers. So that won't work with the PSVR. So there are certain games that do and don't work. Fortunately, the piece of software that you're going to install for free or paid version, if you want to carry on, actually sorts that out for you. But first off, let's go and have a look. You have to download a couple of pieces of software. So let's just pop over to my screen, full screen capture. And we're on the store and the first thing you need to type in, I'm already on the page here and it will be Steam VR. OK, Steam VR and it'll bring you to this page. Essentially, this is the Steam VR. So you'll need to, as you can see, I've got mine installed. You'll need to install that first. OK, now you could try running it straight away, but it won't work with your PSVR. So the next piece of software is just type in VR. Um, and it's no, what is it? IV, it's a funny name. IVR PS, here it is. IVRY, Ivory. Okay. And essentially, you can get the free one or the paid one. The paid one for PSVR, you can see it just under here, is £15.89. I put it on my wish list. I'm hoping it might go on a deal. Um, but you can try out the free one. So that's what I'm running at the moment. And again, download that as well. Okay. Let me pause that. Download PSVR as well. So then you can get to try it. OK, so the next bit now, let's come back. So those are the two pieces of software. So here we go. So the next bit now is to actually get all your cables and set it up to your PC. Now, you will, of course, need a GPU and, and a somewhat not hugely powerful. I've got the 3060 Ti. It's running fine on that. And I also run a free monitor system. So fortunately, most uh, modern graphics cards have free H, uh, free D DV slots, what they call now. Um, oh, digital, no, uh, I've forgotten. The DV slots anyway. And then you've got one HDMI slot. Uh, so the DV slots I use for the for the monitors. What, what's the name for the display ports? That's it. But they're technically called DV ports, display video ports or something. Anyway, the, the display ports. I use for my monitors and I've got three of them 
and then that leaves one HDMI, which is what you'll need to connect to your PSVR. Now, don't worry about the second cable from the box to your TV. You don't need that. OK, the when you're using the PC, the PC already knows. So you'll have to connect your we'll go into it anyway. So essentially, I'm going to show you the cabling up now. So you will need a USB slot and a HDMI out on your graphics card. And then it's just set the cables up as you would in the PlayStation. So let's go over to my uh, over to my bench there. I might have to do this by mobile phone. So um, bear with me if it's a bit janky. Right, so we're on the table here with all the gear. So you've got the PSVR, the breakout box, and uh, this part, which obviously is part of the breakout box. So you have the two normal connectors that connect to this. This then connects to your headset. It's got so much wires, but if you own a PSVR, you know how it goes. The essential parts you need to remember, not so much this side, this is all connected as normal. The HDMI out goes to, into your well, this is actually HDMI in here, but it goes into your out on the GPU. I'll show you a picture of it now. And then this has to be, this is your USB. And that needs to be plugged in to your PC. And ideally on a USB free slot. And then this one here just provides the power to the box because it's got like a little, a little fan going on there. There's a little bit of processing going on in this thing. All right, now this is the oldest one as well. So this is the cheapest possible headset you can probably get. Um, I remember I didn't pay much for it even when it was out. So the PSVR, I think it had been out for about a year. It didn't sell that well. So they were getting rid of them from 150 quid at one point. And I think you can pick these up for under 50 quid, which is a great little entry onto PC VR. But OK, so there we are. So you've got your breakout box. Essentially, you're just going to have um, one USB connected into your PC and then the HDMI connects to your GPU uh, and the rest of the things don't worry about that too much you've got the on button obviously on on your headset there so let's go back to the um, let's go back to the software and let me show you a couple of things before you start turning everything on and setting it up so before we start turning on the headset, oh, no, I've got that stupid thing. It's going to try and delete it, but anyway, I got the headset. Before we turn that on, right, there's a there's something I want to show you that's very important, and this is to do with your controller. So here's your controller. Now, I have struggled and struggled and struggled for the last 24 hours trying to get the controller to work in the PSVR room. And it come up and it basically said, like, press the controller. I'll show you it in a minute, but press the controller. And it just wouldn't, I could not get it to work. Now, what you've got to do is come over to your Steam, go to your Steam, go to your settings. So Steam up here, top left, come down to settings, come down to your controller. And essentially, you need to turn off, you can leave Rumble one on, that's fine. Turn every, all of these off. Turn that to not enabled, but leave the guide button focuses Steam. It's very important you do this. If you don't do this, you won't get your controller to work with inside Steam VR. And essentially what it's now going to do is basically um, pretend to be a controller that you can use. So without it, you you basically get stuck. So once you've got that, so I'll just go through it again. So essentially you turn, these are the ones that are important. So Xbox controllers, turn it off, even though you're using Xbox, it doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't make logical sense, but it, you'll have to trust me. This is what I've had to learn and find out how it works. So you have to turn all these off and just leave the guide button focuses steam. That's very important. OK, and of course, you all know the guide button is what we call the hamburger button, which is that sort of middle lit one here. Um, Anyway, right, so yeah, very important. So just uh, I'll, I'll leave it on you for a little bit longer so you can make sure that you're doing exactly the same thing. You can leave Rumble on and you can leave Guide button, Focuses Steam. All the other things, just disable them all. Right, let's move on to the actual PSVR headset itself because there's some settings we need to do on that. Right, we've finally managed to get the Steam VR up and running. So I've got the headset just sitting beside me here. Um, if you don't move the headset for a long time, it auto shuts off. So you can see that's what would be seen out the headset. Now this here is the Steam VR settings, right? 
but you don't really want to mess with them too much. What you need to do is come down with your mouse, see ne right next to me here, right beside of me, bring that up. I'm bringing up all the news. And you need to click on your VR, IV, R, IV. I'm just going to call it IV, IV settings. All right, or ivory settings. Click on that, you double click it, and it brings up this page here. This is very important. So for performance, I've put mine up to 120 hertz. Now, by default, it's 90, but I just I just left it at 900. I put it up to 120. You could leave it on 90. I put it up to 120. Just just me. All right, that's up to you. But the most important one is this one. That's right, Steam VR. This by default will be on virtual. Okay. You need to change it to VR Direct. And now when you do that, you have to then restart the whole process again. Okay? So by doing that to VR Direct, that'll help a lot of things. And of course, the resolution 1920 by 1080. Now, just in case, and that's all that's the settings you need to sort out. So this can disappear. You can click at the bottom, see where my arrow is, just across there. Just just click that and it should disappear again. But what was I explaining now? The controller. So now you've done the controller settings, like I said, so you disabled the morning steam. Now this will work. Now, when I first started to play, this wouldn't even work. All right. So then that allows you then to use the headset to look at various points and you can start to try out the actual VR demo. Now, I'm going to put the headset on and I'm going to go from there. So let me just take my headset uh, headphones off. Well, that's quite mad because I can actually see OBS Studio within. You can see OBS Studio in there as well. That's, that's crazy, that is. Right. Um, and unfortunately, OBS Studio is over the top of the front here. Right, so um, so there I can look around. I think here we go. Here's my menu system. Um, obviously, I don't want to mess about with that too much. So you can see now I'm looking at my menu system here. I can start to I can exit, I can recenter, recentering, and that's recentered. Right, here we go. Now look at that, look, you can see my recent apps in there. I sorted out all my stuff. I don't know if I can actually take a walk out here. Yeah, I can use my analog stick. So you can just start to experience. The actual VR itself. So once it's all up and running, like I say, the important things is setting up that controller because I've spent ages trying to get this bleeding controller to work and I just couldn't get it to work. But now it's working. It's great. Now there are, um, what's this then? New environment inspired by Half-Life. So you can have, I don't know how to get that. See since empty Alley, Russell's lab. I'm not sure how I'd uh, get that. I've got an avatar, um, explore environments. Half-Life Gordon Freeman, I don't know. Huh. I don't know, that's all stuff to mess about with. So essentially that's your PSVR now working. Now of course you can just play any games you want. Um I'm trying to I'm trying to work out where the Oh there we go. I'm trying to work out how to press on there, but it doesn't matter. You can just start the game from inside Steam and then it'll choose VR and that'll work as well, but 
Okay, now, so I've been 10 minutes making this video, so essentially it's going to run out now. So essentially that's your VR all run up and running. So essentially my 10 minute freebie time ran out then while I was doing the end of it. But as you can see, it's all up and running. I was able to walk around Steam VR. Now for playing your games, if I just show you the screen capture here, um, what you need to do really is to come to this up here and choose VR. And essentially it'll show you all your VR compatible games. Now some games, when you start them, will have a choice. So say I was going to start Star Wars Squadrons, it'll say launch in VR mode. Now when you do that, it'll automatically start turning all your VR, load up Steam VR and start to work. Other games don't have that. They're probably not so compatible. Like this Doorways Underworld, I can't get that to work. Uh, this Town of Light isn't one that's really, really compatible. Um, to this toy box turbo is for some reason it comes up as VR. I've, I've not been able to get that to work. So the ones I've got are Grip, are two racing games really, Grip and Star Wars Squadron, which is like a simulator. Um, there are other games on here I could try. Um, oh, this Monstrum. Let me just have a look. Yeah, so this one gives, again gives me the... Um, uh, it gives me the option of of starting it in Oculus VR mode. Now, it should be able to copy the Oculus using Ivory. So, yeah, great. And once it's all running, in fact, let's just show you it. Let's show Grip. Grip is great fun on it. So we're going to launch it in VR. Press play. Now, I may need to turn the headset on. I've got it just sitting on my thing over here. So let's see if the lights don't come on, and I've just got to turn it on. There are the lights just flashed on. Also, we need a controller. Get my controller out. I'm going to put my headset on. Now, this may lag quite a bit while I'm doing this because obviously it's going to take up a lot of resources. Oh, Steam VR has encountered a critical problem. We restart it then. Sometimes that does happen. Uh, hopefully this will start working. It does sometimes take a bit of a while to all sort of kick in. I've got a lot of things running on my poor old PC here. I've got OBS running. I've got a lot of secondary screens. But hopefully, yeah, I can see it now. I can actually see within there. It's connecting. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up as well. I'm not sure if it's going to come up on the screen, but I can see stuff. Yeah, there we go. I put my headset on. I can probably hear some sound as well. Yeah, all good. It's just a story. Continue the story, just to show you so the VR does work. Probably would have been better off doing grip because it would have been a bit quicker to get into a match. Here we go. As you can see, we're in. Hello, droid. And that's all perfectly smooth. Looks good as well.
It's pinned in the upper atmosphere, still hyperdrive. There's too many fighters for talent. Right, so hopefully that might have helped a little bit. It is a little bit janky getting it all to work. Once you've got it working, it works pretty well. And of course, that was just the 10 minute free version I'm using there. So I was running out of time while using it. But anyway, if this helps you and you've got one of these PSVRs and you, it's not too tricky, just follow the steps. Like I say, make sure you um, do the controller settings like I showed you and make sure you change it to that... Um, what was it virtual virtual vr setting i can't remember exactly without looking at it but that for the two settings in the videos i'll mark them down below which ones they are they're the most important ones get those two settings done and you'll get a really quite a smooth experience anyway this being glenn to take gaming and we'll see you next one if i helped you smash the thumbs up okay bye now gaming yeah you know the name they got the games that won't break the bank So come on over and join the crew They'll show you, they'll show you How to game and save money too Just keep gaming, yeah, you know the name They got the games that won't break the bank So come